So today I'll be showing you various ways you can present this delicious fruit to your guests or even your family. There are different varieties of mangoes. Some are not sweet while others are very sweet. So today I'm going to be using apple mango, which is usually very sweet. You're going to need a normal knife and also a small paring knife. But if you don't have the small paring knife, you can use the regular knife. To get started, you'll pick your mango, which is already cleaned. Cut the pit of the mango. Just like that. You can see the lovely color on the inside. Place the mango on one end and chop up one side, just like this. Using your small paring knife, you're going to run your knife lengthwise, just like that. Rotate your mango and using your knife, you're going to cut the other side. Using your fingertips, you're going to press the middle of the mango, just like this. And then you're going to get a very awesome way to present your mango. I'm going to show you another way you can present your mango. Using a spoon, you're going to dig in the flesh or the pulp of the mango, just like this. Go around and remove the flesh. Easy. You're going to pick your next mango. Cut out the top part. And using your knife, you're going to peel your mango. So I love peeling my mango this way by moving the, the knife around the mango in order to peel the skin. Pick a knife and cut one side of the mango, just like this. Rotate and cut the other side. So for this side, I'm going to cut my mango into strips. Using my fingertips, I'm going to push my mango on one side. Just like that. And that is another way you can present your mango. Lastly, I'm going to show you another way you can present your mango by simply cutting your mango into long strips, just like that. Rotate and cut into chunks. When done chopping up your mango into beautiful pieces, you can present the mango maybe in a fruit salad or even in a fruit platter. Blend up to a smoothie and treat yourself or your guests to some delicious mangoes. So thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll be catching you on my next episode.